My life's like a movie, paparazzi picture If it's to get richer, then I'll probably get richer Okay, so serious topic Serious um, We'll keep it short and sweet Which safety can be Yep You know um, really wanted to talk about and draw attention to some of the practices that we've put in place as owners of Royal Fetish Films, performers, directors, um, and just people who love this industry. Practices that we've put in place to keep ourselves safe and keep other folks safe. So I was hoping that um, maybe we could share some just quick highlights of physical safety, emotional safety, psychological safety, tips and uh and, and ways that we've grown to either vet the people that we work with, vet the companies that we work with, and also do a self-assessment of our own company. Work. So what are some things that come to mind, like, right off the bat for you? First and foremost, having a production meeting. Mm, what happens in these production meetings? Production meetings, we go over safety concerns, first mm -hmm. and foremost. You know, not even just what we're going to be doing on set, but a little bit of background on who we're working with. So... You know, do you have any food allergies? Do you have any injuries? Do you have any ailments that we need to know about when we're going to be on set? Mm -hmm. uh, any particular things that might be triggering for you in regards to any of the acts that we're going to be working with? Anything around, you know, being tied up or BDSM or anything like mm -hmm. that? You know, uh, trying to make sure that we have a history of the person. And then what do you need if something is, uh, like if you have to use your safety word? Mm -hmm. What do you need for aftercare? Mm -hmm. What do you need for during? What do you need for pre-shoot yeah. that'll make you feel comfortable and, and you know, able to give your all for the shoot, go over safety words, things of that nature? One of the things I love about having the pre-production meeting is it gives people an opportunity to think about the things that could potentially happen and really get them ready to be able to advocate for themselves. Yes. They start to practice in advance sharing what they like and what they don't like. So that way it's not like the first time communicating this if they need to advocate for themselves on set. Um, I also love that we have people think about who their emergency contact is, yes. who their emotional support person is, because it is difficult to be all of those things and do our jobs. Um, so having that person identify who we should contact if they need some additional support or who they should contact if they need additional support. Yeah, and you can't always be that for yourself. There you, know, you go. If, God forbid, you know, you get injured mm -hmm. or something like that, we should know who to contact, mm -hmm. you know. And it doesn't even have to be an injury from something shooting. You might right. slip and fall at the workplace, you know what I'm saying, something like that. How do you go about vetting, um, vetting for your own safety when it comes to working with a person or a company? Waiting to see when they're going to have this pre-production meeting mm -hmm. if it's for a company. But, I, no, I, I do... Uh, especially if they're hiring me to do something in mm -hmm. regards to BDSM or something that's a little bit more extreme, I ask, you know, are we going to have an interview? Who am I working with? Right. Let me know who I'm working with ahead of time so I could do a little bit of research on my scene partner. Reach out to my scene partner if, if need be to find out what their hard and soft and full stops are. You so know you don't saying? leave it to the company? I don't mm -hmm. because a lot of these companies that I have worked with in the past, like I'll get on set with somebody and ask them like, okay, they said that they wanted us to do X, Y, and Z. And a person might be like, yeah, I'm, it might not even be that they were like, I don't want to do that. It could mm -hmm. just be like today I have this going on and I don't think I'll be able to do that. Okay. So then we need to talk to the company mm -hmm. because sometimes mm -hmm. people are afraid yeah. to say no, because they think it's going to be, the shoot is going to be over and mm -hmm. they're going to find somebody else. So I love that, that you're even prepared to advocate for your scene partners. Um, vetting for me means looking at someone's breadth of work mm -hmm. um, is really important. Uh, who have you worked with? How do people talk to you? How do you talk to people? Yeah, well, how, you, how, how are you on, online? Yeah, how do you carry yourself? Um, that is important, too. When I ask people questions like, um, what, are you hoping to, what are you hoping to come out of this scene? I think it's important for people to be able to communicate like what is the art piece that you 
You know, yeah. what is the product? If it's just like, oh, I've been trying to, I've been trying to work with you. How? Why? What do you? Yeah, why? <laughs> Are, you know, where, what, we, when, all that for stuff. what? Yeah. yeah, and if you don't sort of have an idea, then you trying to kick it, um, and that's not work. We're probably going to we're we're coming at this from two very different. Um, expectations, and so we're probably gonna bump heads, um, or you know, something along those lines. I usually ask what you said, like what kind of art, but also like what sells for you. Mm-hmm. What what are you trying to? Uh, what are you? Tr- what what fetishes or what kinks or mm-hmm. what sexual acts do you want to do in this scene that work for you, or what would you like to do? And then figure out from there, like, okay, this is either how we can or why we should not do that. Yeah, absolutely. The other thing, too, is um, when I share with people, like, what's required to shoot with our company. And if they kind of come back with, like, like nah, like, I just like get a note from my doctor. Or um, is there any way around this? Or my, I don't have whatever, maybe the documentation that's necessary. Like for me, that is a red flag. Um, and it's not to say that it's a red flag. This person is bad. Um, or like things, things happen sometimes financially. It can be really, um, it can be very challenging to meet all of the testing requirements that we have, but that just means for me, it's a red flag. We can't do this now. Yeah. You know, um, but it is when people are trying to find a way around rules and requirements, that is usually a sign that this is just not a good, um, this is not a good opportunity for me. Absolutely. Yeah. So I really hope people are staying safe out there. Um, We do have a lot of work that's that's out in in the ethos on uh, harm reduction and safety on set. Uh, we have brought to Royal Fetish Films our experiences, bad experiences, to learn how to make improvements. Yeah. Um, our experiences as intimacy coordinators, as mental health providers, as performers, um, directors, producers. All that. Holding the camera, <laughs> the grip. <laughs> I think it's really important to say that there is never a wrong time to advocate for yourself. There is never a wrong time to use your safety word on set. And if your safety word is not respected on set, then that is not a set for you. And you got to get the fuck out of there. You know, um, we usually use the universal safety words just because that's the easiest yes. way and thing for everybody to know and understand. Mm-hmm. And I think sometimes People think that if you're using your safety word, and this is something you have to pay attention to as a performer, and I mean, also if you're behind the camera working for a company as Mm -hmm. well, if someone tries to negotiate with you after using your safety word, that's not a safe workplace. No, no, it absolutely is not. And I also want to say that everybody that is on a set is responsible to making sure that when someone uses their safety word um, or when someone expresses discomfort, that we advocate for that person because you are just as, you know, as guilty as anyone else if there is someone that's in need and you don't tend to them. Yeah, and everybody on set can use the safety word. I love that. So, like, if you've been holding the camera too long, if you've been in a position that hurts, um, if you are in an emotionally uncomfortable conversation with the person whose hair you're doing or whose makeup you're doing or whose clothes you're styling, like, use your word. So who should people go to on a set um, when they are not comfortable or need to advocate for someone? You should be able to go to the director. And if the director is a part of the person or a part of the situation, uh, I suggest like walking off. I rather people walk off and have to work it out later mm-hmm. than uh, compromise their safety or anyone else's. And honestly, I would say if the if you see someone being mistreated and um, you see that they can't advocate for themselves, if you're the performer, then if you call it quits, it can't happen for anyone. Absolutely. Yeah. So use your power um, to keep everyone safe. Yeah. And just remember, you as a human being, always, always, always should be respected. Just because you do porn, whether it's in front of or behind the camera, doesn't mean that you shouldn't be respected with your safety words. Doesn't mean you shouldn't be respected with your limits and boundaries. And it means at all times, 
You the star of the show. So if you don't rock, the whole shit ain't running. Absolutely. And for those people that are making this industry unsafe, this is not a place that you can hide and hurt people. Um, you will be uncovered. And shooting sex work is real work. Shooting porn is legal. And there are practices that you have to adhere to. So don't think that you can come and do your misfit shit over here. We will call you out. We will find a way to get you out of this industry so that we can continue to work and make beautiful, beautiful art. Yeah, we're trying to build a safer industry for everybody in it. So if you want to be a part of that, definitely look out for us. Hit us up, Royal Fetish Films. Royal Fetish. My life's like a movie. Paparazzi picture. If it's to get richer, then I'll probably...